Okay guys, welcome back and now that we're done with our PPA and merchant price forecast inputs let's actually go back to our calculations sheet and let's finish up our generation calculation here. So first thing we will do is we will need some further flags for our PPA. So let's copy this here and let's actually also copy this formatting here. Mark those cells, Alt H V S T enter. And then we just pick up our start and end dates from our input sheet, just how we have done it before. So this is going to be here. Control D, Control R. And since we already have all those flags neatly set up, all we have to do is copy those six cells here, paste them here. And let's check whether this connection is right and yes, it's all still properly linked. So let's get those flags over to the right. And what we'll do for our PPA flags, we will also integrate a switch here since we have a choice for the end user whether to use this PPA or not. So what we will do is we will link this to our on off switch here in our input sheet. Select this, hit control one, go to custom, and in parentheses, let's write on two times comma and then off. Hit enter. Alt HJ. This is also an off sheet item. Hit control D. And essentially, it's either a one or zero. So if it's off, it's a zero. If it's on, it's a one. And what we will do is we will link this switch into our flag. So let's link this, let's multiply this entire formula here with our switch. Hit F4 three times to anchor it to the column. Hit enter and let's hit Control D here and let's get it over to the right. All right, okay. And let's actually test whether this works. So right now we have 40 flags for our first PPA period and then 20 flags for our second period. And if I scroll to the right, you can see that right after the first PPA period, the second PPA period starts, so that works. And let's check whether our switch also works. So let's go back to our input sheet and what we'll do is turn those two PPAs off here. Go back to our calculation sheet and you can see, okay, great, our flag is turned off. So let's turn it back on. Okay. And then let's go back to our calculation sheet and last thing we will do is we will calculate our generation allocated to the PPA and then our generation allocated to the market. So before we can do that, we first need our hatched volume. So let's go pick this up from our input sheet. This is right here. So select it from column M. Hit Alt H J. This is a percentage as well as an off sheet item. Hit control D for the first three periods here. Then let's also pick up our row totals. Pick this up here and paste it four times. And then what we'll simply do is we will multiply this hatched volume here, anchor to the column only. So hit F4 three times, times our net generation after degradation up here. Hit F4 two times to anchor to the row. And last but not least, we will also have to anchor to our flag so that they come into play here. And this is right here and we won't need any anchoring for this. Hit enter. Hit Alt HJ, select a comma zero style. And then let's go two times down and get it over to the right. Control R. And you can see, great, we have a certain percentage of our total generation after degradation allocated to our PPA, more precisely 70% 70, 70 in this case. And then it drops down to 60% after 10 years here. And let's go back. And what we'll do is hit shift alt equal to get the sum of this. Alt HJ, that's a subtotal style. Get it over to the right. Control R. And last thing we will do is calculate our generation allocated to the market. And that's going to be very simple. So let's first copy our row totally here. And what we will simply do is we will 
take our total net generation after degradation and subtract our generation allocated to the PPA down here. Hit enter, get it over to the right. And you can see, great, those are the last 30% of our generation in the first quarter. So if we have the sum of those two cells here, it's going to be the same value as our net generation after degradation. And if we check our row totals here at those two cells together, you can see down here, perfect. This is our total net generation after degradation. All right, this was it for now, and I will see you in the next lesson.